I'm a big guy, Pomalon. I can take it. Just tell me what you want to say. Deep breath, okay, you guys? We're going to get through this together. Hello, and welcome to Patricor. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day, and if not, I hope I make your day a little bit better. I needed something to relax to. This was a short game, and I saw it, and I was like, you know what? I'm going to, uh, to play it, so... Here we go. Content warning. Read it. Read it. I be reading it out loud to y'all, but sometimes y'all just don't be listening to me. So I'd rather y'all read it yourselves, just so you know. Rain is odd. It can be a nightmare when you're in a hurry to get somewhere. When it's freezing and you have no umbrella. Or when you step on a loose tile and end up soaking those pair of boots you wearing for the first time. But rain can also be pleasant. When it taps and plinks on the outside of the window with a calming sound that puts you at ease. When it stops and you notice the scent of the bakai, blah, 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 the bakai core, Jesus, the bakai core in the air. Excuse me, I bit my tongue when I was saying it. When it washes all away. Pommy. Okay, so I guess I'm Pommy. Did I come too early? By the way, this is about someone coming out to someone about being asexual. So, uh, if something like that bothers you, I don't understand why it would bother you, but it is your preference. If it's something that bothers you, please go ahead and turn it away. Well, to be fair, I do live closer, but maybe if I walked slower, no, no, no. Who cares if I arrived first? It's just a few more minutes of awkwardly standing in the entrance and looking at my phone while strangers pass by. <coughs> Excuse me. It's fine. This is fine. Dot, dot, dot. This is not fine. Why the heck did I have to forget my headphones? Ugh. At least I didn't get caught by the rain. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can chalk it up to that, that she didn't get caught by rain. Ah! This must be Paris. All right, our phone pops up. Do I have to press the button? Okay, almost there. Where are you? Uh, almost there. Where is almost? People are staring at me weird. What, why? Maybe because I'm standing at the entrance and it's raining? I don't know. What the F palms? You didn't go inside. <laughs> No. To be fair, I'm the type of person that have like anxiety disorder, so being in crowded places is a lot for me. It's not summer anymore. What are you doing? I'm under the roof. And I've got an umbrella. Still, you should go wait inside. I mean, all right, that's what you want me to do. Don't underestimate Mother Nature. But what if the waiter wants me to order? Just tell him that you're waiting for someone, sweetie. <laughs> I'm, I'm telling you, this sounds like me already. But maybe they don't allow it because they'd be losing more customers. You know, you never know. <laughs> it's a cafe, Pommy, not a Michelin restaurant. <laughs> It'll be fine. I promise. Really? Really, really. No, that's what, this is all we need in our life is a partner that's going to reassure us that everything is okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. I'm almost there anyways. Seriously, where's almost? <laughs> Closer than you think. Mm, okay. Oh my God, you're a dork. Yeah, yeah, you're cute too, sweetie. Oh my God, why am I blushing? This isn't my man. Song, look, song, song. He's here, I swear. Okay, he, I'm not making him up. He's not imaginary. There is someone named Song here, I promise. Lord have mercy, I admit defeat. He really knows how to calm me down. So he must be here. Oh, look, it stopped raining. Ooh, heck yeah. Time to spin my umbrella dry and pretend I'm Mary Poppins. 
<laughs> You're such a dork. A cute one, I hope. Of course. I'll wait for you inside. Running away, are we? Tisk tisk. Oh well. Leave some cake for me. All right. Here we go. I'm I'm ready to see this partner. I try not to look at like screenshots and stuff like that and read too much into the page because sometimes the page will give off something that I want to be a surprise. So I kind of just let myself go into these blindly. Although the cafe isn't exactly full, it's a small place after all. There are still a couple of people enjoying their snacks while engaging in conversation. I find an empty spot in the corner. Phew. Glad no one's set here. He should be here any minute now. Dot dot dot. Hopefully he hurry up. Should I have picked a movie instead? Again, I hope the music isn't too low either. I've, I've wrestled with the music being too loud, too low. I'll tap it and turn it up just a little bit. But it was booming in my ears. And again, that's like a little sensory issue for me. It's not like super bad. But like when something booms in my ear, it just it gives me anxiety. No, no. We can watch a movie anytime. The point of this was so we could talk. I chew on my lower lip, fingers tapping restlessly on top of my lap. I hope we still do talk after this. Pommy. Okay. Oh my goodness. He's a cutie pie. Oh my goodness. Hey, Palms. Sorry for making you wait. The rain really caught me off guard. Knowing you, Paris, you probably got soaked to the bone and had to go back and change before stepping out again. With an umbrella this time. Busted, huh? Paris sighed dramatically, tossing his MP3 player on the table before doffing his cap <laughs> next to him on the couch. Yeah, we look, if you want to be stylish and, you know, fashionably late, by all means, be fashionably late. He is so cute. I can't help but snort. Am I that transparent? Hmm. Almost like a reflex, I grab my chin with my index finger and thumb. Maybe a little. Maybe you just know me too well. You think so? I know so. I hope that's still the case after today. Have you ordered yet? No, I just sat down. You really didn't have to wait for me outside. Are you cold? Shite, you're freezing. Despite having been out for longer, his hands are warmer than mine. Well, if he went back, I don't know if, how close he lives, but if he went back home, he was in the house changing his clothes and then he came back out, he wasn't in the rain that long. He circles his drum gently across the top of your hand, giving me soft caresses and I swear I feel my stomach pull <laughs> a somersault. I just have bad circulation. <laughs> Let's order. For a moment, Paris stares at me like he wants to say something else, but he ends up smiling and taking his hand off mine. Yeah, I seriously need some coffee in my system right freaking now. That and some cheesecake. Coffee and cheesecake? Hmm. I've never tried it before. I might try it one day. I heard the one from here is really good. For real? Now I have to try it. <laughs> Sounds good to me. Let's see. We get our stuff. Oh my good. Look at this. Look at that cheesecake. I want to try that cheesecake. <laughs> oh my goodness. You sure you're okay with just tea? I know you love chamomile, but... Yeah, don't worry. I uh, ate a bit too much yesterday. I'm not very hungry. Hmm. Again, he has our stomach doing knots, so maybe, just maybe, we're just a little nervous. Okay. Just let me know if you want some cake, all right? But you better hurry up if you don't want me to eat it all. <laughs> you definitely would. It's cheesecake, Pommy. Of course I would. Right as he says that, he cuts a small piece off with his fork and brings it to his mouth. Mmm. God, I freaking love cake. 
I'll never understand people who hate it. So I have a question for you guys and you guys can put this in the comment section below. Is cheesecake cake or is cheesecake pie? Because I've ha I have this argument all the time is that I feel like for it to be cake, it should have flour in it and everything else. And cheesecake doesn't have flour in it to my knowledge. Maybe there is a cheesecake that does, but you know, regular old cheesecake does not have flour in it. So I feel like for it to be a cake, it should have like flour in it, baking soda, baking powder, something like that. <laughs> One second. Excuse me, I didn't want to burp in you guys' face. <laughs> but yeah, it should have like some type of flour, baking soda in it and stuff. And cheesecake doesn't have that. So is cheesecake cake or is cheesecake pie? I think it's pie, but you guys can tell me what you think in the comment section below. Uh, I think I already read this. Well, unless the baker really fricked it up. Do you remember Sweet Serenade? <laughs> <laughs> I I I I just thought about the worst cake I've had and I'm not going to say who made it but a family member of mine made it and it was disgusting and I was like maybe I hate cake but then I tried another one and it wasn't and I was like I love cake <laughs> no the one with the jelly like cheesecake Ugh, don't even remind me what an abomination to life itself that thing should be banned can't disagree with you there it really was that bad exactly cheesecake should be creamy creamy not whatever the frick that rubbery texture was good thing this one was worth it though right oh heck yeah props to you for finding this place palms i bow my head in reverence and <laughs> close my eyes i aim to please paris laughs then he grabs his coffee cup by a handle and takes a sip. Not bad, not bad at all. I'm glad. I take a deep breath and grab my own cup. Isn't this stuff supposed to reduce anxiety? It could go ahead and take effect now. I don't even know how to begin. Maybe I can talk about something before diving straight into it? You are right there, Palms. You had your face in that cup for a while now. Paris question catching me off guard that the tea goes down the wrong pipe. <coughs> Whoa, you okay? Yeah. <coughs> All right, good. Here. Yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Uh, I hate when that happens. I tell you to drink something, but you literally choked on tea. The irony. Want me to pat your back? No, no. I'm okay now. Um, I just wanted to ask... Is that a new MP3 player? Oh, that's adorable. Plus the keychain I gave him. <laughs> oh, yeah. Isn't it adorable? I know, I know. Nobody uses these anymore. But the bunny reminded me of you. I couldn't resist. Also, also it had a thingy to put a keychain on, so I thought of using the one you gave me. Oh, Paris, this is so cute. This is such a cute conversation. I love like light hearted, cozy games and stuff. They can have a little romance in it or whatever, but I just like them. They just, they just warm my heart. What? You think it's cheesy? I didn't say anything, but you're thinking it, aren't you? Nope. I can see you smiling, Palmy. Dang. It's a little cheesy. I knew it. Ugh. Maybe I am cheesy. Sue me. But that's not a bad thing. I think it's cute. Dang right it is. Glad we're in agreement about the bunny. <laughs> this is so adorable. I meant you. Aw, uh -huh, we made him blush. Oh. That That's how I like them. I, I like when they blush. I love it. I love it. Paris eats another piece of cheesecake. <laughs> so what have you been up to lately oh uh nothing much still working on that commission yeah how's it going it's going <laughs> i feel you palms to be honest 
I don't even know what I'm doing at work most of the time either. Even though you make freaking amazing things every single time, I demand to know your secret. Why, you wanna be a composer now too? No, I think I'm more cut out for UI designs. Well, I hope so anyway. Hey, don't sell yourself short. I've seen your stuff, you're good. Hmm, really? Really, really. You think you'd get clients otherwise? Thank you. Your stuff is great too. I know. <sighs> cocky beaster. I was just about to say, he's so cocky. Oh my goodness. A cute one, I hope. Yeah, yeah. You stay cute, Paris. Well, I don't see you denying it. I try to hide the smile with a bite of my bottom lip, but the grin still peeks through. Dork. <laughs> I knew it. You're still cuter, though. <laughs> You, 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 you blew a fuse. You blew Pommy's fuse, Paris. Stop it. How can he say all those things without getting embarrassed? Wait, it's Paris we're talking about. Man, coffee and cake combo is the best. Will he still be the same after I tell him? Palms, you sure you don't want some cheesecake? It's really good. What if he wants to break up? Pommy? But this is important. I don't have to lie about Pomeline. I hope I said her name right. What's wrong? You're spacing out. You're starting to scare me. Oh, he's worried about us. Did something happen? Is it about work? I shake my head. Your parents? A friend? I shake my head again. Paris takes my hand in his. Then... About us? Pommy doesn't say anything. Don't say, don't do that, Pommy. I'm a big guy, Pommeline. I can take it. Just tell me what you want to say. Deep breath, okay, you guys? We're going to get through this together. Is it okay if I eat a bit of the cake first? I think a bit of sugar will do me some good. Of course. All right, let's take a bite of the cake. Get ourselves ready. Well, what did you think? It was really good. Feel a little better? I nod. That's a relief. Paris shoots me one of his usual radiant smiles. I feel a ping in my chest. Oh, he's such a good boyfriend. Even though he's worried, he's trying to keep us calm and be like, look, it's okay, whatever it is. I'm sorry. What? Why? You must be nervous as heck, and I just had to drag this longer by eating. Hey, it's okay. But some things are difficult to talk about, Palms. Forcing it out of you isn't going to make things better. Take your time. Oh my god. We, no way we don't love Paris. Paris is a 10 on this channel, right? He's a 10, okay? 10 out of 10? We're all in agreement? Okay, all right, I'm just making sure we're all in agreement because, oh my goodness, there are just some guys that be on this channel that I'm just like, he's cute, but that attitude is disgusting. <laughs> he's got attitude, he's cute, he's sweet, he's sincere, he cares about our feelings, he's sharing his cake. The cake part makes him a, a million out of 10, a million out of 10, hands down. <laughs> I close my eyes, take a deep breath, and hold it in for a few seconds. <sighs> Once my breathing is back to normal, I face him. Earlier, you asked if this was about us. I did. Well, it is and it isn't at the same time, okay? I'm still trying to figure out a few things about this, but certain parts of it just seems to click you know how once i told you that you're my first relationship even though i'm already in my 30s palms i really don't care if i know i know you don't think it's a big deal you're so kind and understanding i really could have asked for a better partner but not everyone is as open-minded as you pommy 
Sometimes doctors assume stuff because of my age. Even my own family thinks it's weird. That it's way more than being a late bloomer. You know, deep down, i always known. i always known that I wasn't like other people. Well, the majority of them. My eyes start to water, so I bite my lip hard. <laughs> yeah, uh, this is making me, my, t uh, my eyes water a little bit too, because I'm starting to tear up. I'm a cancer, okay? So, don't judge me. Paris, I love you so, so much. I don't think anyone has ever made me feel the way you make me feel. You're kind to me, patient with me. You trust and respect me. Even though that should be a given for any relationship, I've seen so many that failed because they were lacking these things. And when I'm with you, I can be myself. I don't have to pretend to be someone I'm not. That's why, that's why I have to tell you this. I owe you that much. Okay. <sighs> we're gonna let it out and we're gonna tell Paris. Tears crusade down my cheeks, flowing and flowing with no ends in sight. Paris, I, I don't know if I could or want to have schmecks. You know what? We're going to say the word because this is us actually doing we're, We can't have sex. Sorry. When I have someone I like, that's not something that comes to mind when I think about them. This whole thing about sexual attraction, I don't get it. I don't understand what it's supposed to feel like. Paris, I think I'm not sexually attracted to you. That's a kind of a bad way to word it. That's kind of a bad way to word it. But but in a sense, maybe. Maybe that's the right way to word it. I don't know. I, I, I'm not asexual. So I don't know. But it's just a bad way to word it because someone could look at it like, oh, you're not physically attracted to me. That's how I look at it. Like, like my brain, I'm a, I'm a worrier and I overthink. And if someone was to say, I'm not sexually attracted to you, it would make me feel like you're not physically attracted to me. Like my body's gross, but you love my personality type of thing. <laughs> I think I'm not sexually attracted to anyone. It's, it's not that I'm disgusted by the idea of sex. In fact, it makes me a little curious, but I, I don't know if I'd be able to do it. Whether it's on a regular basis or at all. My hands start shaking. Paris caress the one he's holding with his thumb. Pummy, do you hate it when I do this? No, I like it. How about when I hug you or play with your hair? I like that too. And when I kiss you? I squeeze my head and nod. If there's not that many people around, then I see no problem. R really? Really, really. But, do you mind if I tell you a story about my ex-partner? He wouldn't talk about them out of nowhere. Not at all, go ahead. Paris smiles and nods and thanks. Terry and I, dated for like a year or so. He was very charming and always knew how to make me laugh. We definitely had our good moments. But a few months into dating, we realized that we were just not compatible. Terry wasn't fond of romantic gestures. Whenever I wanted to cuddle or hold their hand, they would react like they were uncomfortable. At first, I wasn't sure what was going on. Sex wasn't an issue, so I thought maybe they were just shy about being affectionate. But soon enough, we started getting into fights, and he said I was being too clingy. I said he was being cold. Paris. Romance and affection are things that are vital to me in relationships. Sex feels good, too. I'm not going to deny that. But for me... It's the emotional part of the relationship that gets me infested. Oh, Paris. 
I'm about to cry like I just confessed and he was <laughs> I'm about to cry <laughs> no don't cry this is so this is supposed to be sweet this is supposed to be sweet this is so sweet well long story short Terry realized that he was a romantic and in his particular case very repulsed by anything even remotely related to romance as well as any form of physical attraction wow that man needs a therapist and I'm not saying that like there's not people out there because there are people that's had trauma in their past where they just cannot stand the fact that someone's touching them and I understand that heavily which is insane that I understand that because for years I was like that too like where I just didn't want someone touching me I'm like Ugh, no like it made me uncomfortable I felt like it was wrong like in my brain I was like this is wrong this is wrong this is wrong and so one second I have to burp again excuse me I didn't want to burp in you guys' ear but in a sense I was like maybe this is not like a a me thing like I didn't just grow up hating physical touch and kissing and holding and feeling like it was wrong and so I talked to a therapist and they made me realize that because of my past trauma with being essayed and being ard I can't really say it on here because you know you know all that stuff happening to me is the reason why that being touched and being you know kissed on hugged hand, holding hands and stuff is a bad thing and I worked through it and so now I don't feel that way anymore if anything I'm the most affectionate thing out there like I want I love hugs now I love uh kisses and holding hands and you know physical touch is like love for me like I just love it like rubbing the back of my neck all that stuff it just feels good so yeah I, I get it I understand it's better to talk sometimes you can't work through it sometimes it's just you know just a thought of it just makes you Ugh. and that's okay too but you know once you find that right person it gets better like I found song <laughs> I'm pretty much the complete opposite of that so it was never going to work we were both immature I'm afraid so the relationship didn't end up on the best terms either I really wish that we could have handled it better but I don't think either of us was wrong in the end I think we just weren't suited for each other still I'm sure we've both grown from the experience this time I hold his hand oh look at them holding hands this is so cute I'm sorry the pictures are so cute Thank you for telling me this. No, thank you for listening and for telling me about you as well. That was very brave. Oh, what is it? It's just, this doesn't feel real. Want me to pinch your cheeks? <laughs> I'm serious, Paris. What if, what if you get tired of me because of this part of me? What if you end up feeling like I'm not enough? Huh? Where's this coming from? I... I don't think I could be in a relationship with several people. I respect those who do, but I don't think they're for me. I think I could. I think I... I love enough to be in, like, a relationship with both a male and a female, or two females, or two males, maybe? I don't know. I think I have love a lot, like... Like, I have so much love to give and not, and I just feel like I could do it, but you never know until you try. Like, I'm not saying this person should try. This person has their standing on it. Pommy has their standing on it, so I'm not saying they try, but I just feel like, you know, try it, and if it doesn't work out, you know, you, you can say, I tried it before, and it didn't work out. You think I'd want to share you with someone? I'm strictly... <laughs> monogamous too <laughs> duh of course we're a monogamous relationship of course we're not going to do anything like that <laughs> look palms you being ace isn't a deal breaker for me 
Having a polyamorous relationship isn't the only way to make it work. For starters, my sex drive isn't super high. And I'm not a fan of coercing your lover into liking stuff. <laughs> Please don't be. Look, this is the perfect man right here. Perfect right here. This one, you guys can like, okay? 100%. People who do that can burn in hell. It's important to respect your partner's boundaries. We just started dating, Palmy. You don't have to follow the manual for now. It's supposed to be. Who cares what others think? We'll follow our own rules and go at our own pace, okay? At that moment, his face looked so radiant, so beautiful, that I almost forget how to breathe. God, how can you be so... Before I could finish my sentence, my voice breaks and the waterworks are back once again. Is this a bad moment to tell you that you're pretty even with snot leaking down your nose? Oh, <laughs> don't do that to me. I laugh through the tears. You're such a dork. I'm sorry to tell you that you're stuck with me, Palms. Paris, yeah. Can I hug you? Heck yeah, you can. Come here, sweetie. Oh, I'm gonna freaking cry. This is so cute. Oh, perfect couple. Beautiful couple. Rain is odd. It can be an inconvenience when you try to meet up with someone. It can dampen the mood to the point where you cry your eyes out. But it can also be a sign to stop and relax. To let your heart out instead of keeping everything bottled up. And when it washes everything away and the earthy smell of the petrichor hits the air, you'll feel refreshed. Yay! Mini claps. I don't want to clap too loud in you guys' ear. This was such a cute game. I loved every minute of this. Thank the creator and thank you guys. Thank you guys. Thank you creator for making this. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I hope to see you back here on the next video. Hey, don't forget, okay, to bring some snacks, okay, for the next video, all right? I'm gonna bring the cookies as always and the ice cream because ice cream is my favorite, cookies are my favorite. So I'm gonna bring the cookies and the ice cream, okay? And you guys better be there and don't you dare bring just paper plates and forks. Peace and love, stay safe out there everybody, bye.